factors and multiples, natural numbers and whole numbers. These are counting numbers. It, it starts from 1 but have no end or we say that they are infinite. These numbers are called natural numbers. The natural numbers along with 0 whole numbers starts from 0 but have no end. They are also infinite. Consider this multiplication sequence. Here, the numbers 7 and 9 are multiplied to get the number 63. So, 7 and 9 are called factors of 63. And 63 is called the product. 7 and 9 exactly divides 63 with no remainder is left. In this example, we know that when two or more numbers are multiplied together, the numbers which we get as the result is called the product of those number. The numbers which are multiplied together are called the factors of the product and numbers is exactly divisible by each of its factors 63 divided by 9 equals to 7. 1 12 is 12. 2 sixes are also 12. 3 fours are also 12. Therefore, the numbers 12 is exactly divisible by 1, 12, 2, 6, 3 and 4. Arrange these factors in increasing order. These are the all possible factors of 12. Okay, children, let's solve one more problem. We know that 172 is 72. Let's check if 72 comes in the table of 2. No remainder left means 72 is exactly divided by 2 and 36 is also a factors of 72. So, 2 30 sixes are 72. We will check the table 3. No remainder left. So, 72 is exactly divided by 3 and 24. 324s are 72. Let's check the next table 4. Yes, 72 is exactly divided by 4 also. So 4 and 18 are also the factors of 72. Okay, now we will check with table 5. Oh, this remains 2 as remainder so. 5 does not divide 72 exactly and 5 and 14 are not the factors of 72. Let's check with table 6. Correct. 6 and 12 are the factors of 72. Next table is 7. So let's check the table of 7. No, 7 and 10 are not the factors of 72. And now we check the table of 8. Correct. 8 and 9 also are the factors of 72. Now we check the next table. But we are already got 9 is the factor of 72. Need not to check other tables if we already got the same factor from other table. Now write all possible factor of 72. Arrange in increasing order. Very good. These are the all possible factors of 72. Prime numbers and composite numbers. Start from 2. Can you tell the factor of 2? 
correct only two factors 1 and 2 now check the next number 3 and find the factors of 3 again only two factors 1 and 3 that is number itself only so circle the number 3 also let's check another number 4 find the factors of 4 number 4 has three factors so we will not circle the number 4 but instead we cut the numbers 4 now i explain you why we circle some number and why we cut other number 2 and 3 have only two factors 1 and number itself so they are called prime numbers a prime number is a natural number greater than 1 which has only two different factors 1 and itself since number 4 has three factors that is factors other than 1 and itself so this is called composite number numbers that have more than two factors are called composite let's separate other numbers also only two factors so prime number number six have four factors so it is a composite number so cut the number six i already separated the numbers please go through it and practice to find the prime numbers and composite numbers yourself prime number between 1 to 30 are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 and 29 these numbers have only two factors one and number itself 4 6 8 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 and 30 are composite numbers. These numbers have more than two factors. Number 1 is a special number it is neither prime or composite now you understand about the prime number and composite number so let's try this exercise prime factorization from above example we know that 4 and 15 are the factors of 60 but 4 and 15 both are composite numbers so we write factors of 4 also and factors of 15 also. Now the factors 2, 3 and 5 all are prime numbers. So prime factors of 60 is. Let's check also. The factorization of the type where all factors are prime numbers is called prime factorization. There are several ways in which a given number may be factorized. Let's study one by one. Let's find prime factors of 48 by factor tree method. We know that 2 times 24 is 48. So we write in the multiple form. Since 2 is prime number, so circle it and write the multiple form of 24. Again, 2 and 12 are the factors of 24. 2 is prime number, so circle it. Now for 12, we can write 2 and 6. Again for 6, we know that 2 times 3, so write 2 into 3. Since both are prime numbers, so circle both the numbers. Are all branches of tree ended with prime number? So as a product form we write, let's check also. 
Very good. This is not compulsory that we should start the factorization from prime and composite number only. Let me write factors of 48 is 8 times 6. 8 and 6 both are composite number. So we find the factors of both the numbers in next step. For 8, it is 2 times 4 and for 6, it is 2 times 3. Now circle all prime factors. Here remains 4 as composite number. So make one more branch for 4. Factors of 4 are 2 times 2 and 3. Both the prime numbers. Check all branches. It ended with prime numbers. So write this as a prime factor of 48. Let's solve this part also with another factors. Now arrange the factors in increasing order. If we compare the prime factors of 48, it will remain same, whichever way the factorization is done. By convention, the prime factors are listed from least to the greatest. Prime factors can also be obtained by short division method. Think the smallest prime number, which exactly divides 36. Okay, then write 2 as divisor and 18 as quotient. Now think the smallest prime number, which exactly divides 18. Write again 2 as divisor and 9 as quotient. Okay, so as a product form, multiplies. Another name for product is multiple. A multiple of 2 is a product of 2 and other counting number. First multiple of 2 is 2. Second multiple of 2 is 4. Third multiple of 2 is 6. Fourth multiple of 2 is 8. And fifth multiple of 2 is 10. Can you tell the ninth multiple of 2? Very good, it is 18. Even numbers and odd numbers. Let's make the pairs of each object and separate it according to its pairing and non-pairing groups. A number which is not a multiple of 2 is an odd number. Number which is a multiple of 2 is an even numbers. Odd numbers always end in one of the digits 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Even numbers always end in one of the digits 0, 2, 4, 6. Divisibility rules Divisibility by 2 a number is divisible by 2 if its last digit is an even numbers. That is, the number ends in 0, 2, 6 or 8. Okay, now we blast the bubble whose numbers is divisible by 2. Divisibility by 5. A number will be divisible by 5 if the digit at its ones place is 0 or 5. Let's blast the bubble whose number is divisible by 5. Divisibility by 10. A number is divisible by 10 if the digit at its ones place is 0. Blast the bubble whose number is divisible by 10. Divisibility by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 3. Let's solve one more. Number 217. Sum of digits 
2 plus 1 plus 7 equals to 10. Is the sum divisible by 3? No. Is the number divisible by 3? No. Very good. So you understand about multiple and factors. Keep practicing and we will meet soon with new topic.